Peter here at 2016 Inadrone, and I'm here with Todd from Blue Vigil. Todd, how are you doing? Great, how are you doing? Wonderful. So, what is this? Okay, so this is a uh, power tether system here that uh, we can use, we can take it, a, a normal drone, any commercially available drone, uh -huh. take the battery off, put our battery in its place, and it will stay in the air all day. As long as there's power going through the tether, it will stay in the air indefinitely. Oh, wonderful. That is excellent. How long is the tether? Uh, we're manufacturing these things with about 50 meters. Uh, there's no reason we can't go longer if the aircraft will support uh, more weight, but 50 meters of, of cable here is about three pounds. So uh, the battery replacement that you see here is substantially lighter than the battery that it, uh, it, that it replaces. Uh -huh. So the, the net weight difference with about, three, uh, about uh, 50 meters of cable and the battery, you don't really lose much in the way of payload or performance. Gotcha, and I see there is an adapter here for a unique right. Typhoon. So, but this is this this is a uh, unique adapter. There's no reason that we couldn't have adapters for really any aircraft here. Mm -hmm. This one is a little bit different in form, uh, in that the uh, the connectors are are a little bit proprietary. Mm -hmm. But we what we've done is we have an adapter that we can plug right into here. Yeah. We can strap this onto like a 3DR Solo or yeah. anything else really that that uh, uh, takes this voltage yeah. uh, between. Uh, uh, 12 and 24 volts, yep. we can put an uh, adapter in here, plug it into where the battery used to be, yep. and it'll stay in the air indefinitely. Oh, that's wonderful. So it's pretty much anything from 3 to 6S. That's correct. Okay. What kind of customers do you see interested in this? This is for uh, primarily news media, I would think, mm -hmm. uh, uh, law enforcement, first responders, mm -hmm. uh, communications network, anybody that needs to have an aerial platform not necessarily moving around, but in the air for a long period of time. Mm -hmm. Now, there's no reason that you couldn't fly the drone while it's on the tether. So if you're doing, say, infrastructure inspection mm -hmm. and you need to move it from side to side a little bit, you know, of course, you have to stay within the length of the tether. Mm -hmm. uh, but in a lot of missions, that's really not a problem. The, the bigger uh, advantage is that it can stay in the air for a lot longer than the battery will otherwise permit it to do so. Okay, that's great. How is the case itself powered? How is the unit itself powered? It plugs into a normal 110 uh, AC outlet. Mm -hmm. uh, we are making, um, uh, we're selling these in Europe with the 220. Mm -hmm. uh, interestingly enough, when you put uh, a 220 in here, you can get a little bit more power out the other end. So you could power even bigger drones or, or have more altitude with it. The, the spool here is a reactive spool, mm -hmm. uh, meaning that it doesn't push or pull anything. If the aircraft goes up, the cable un uh, feeds out the cable, and as it comes down, it, it brings the cable back in. There's a fleeting sheave and a, and a uh, spool that so that the slack is taken up or let out as it's as necessary. Uh -huh. um, and uh, there's no reason, like I said, that we couldn't put more cable on the spool if there was uh, somebody who needed a, a longer cable or a longer, uh, a higher altitude. Gotcha. What about pricing on these things? They'll retail for about seven thousand dollars. Okay, and if anybody's interesting, where can they find you? My name is Todd Stave. You can find me at Todd at BlueVigil.com. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Todd, for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Take care.